Hey, so uh, how does my nose look? Just got COVID tested. made one bad decision too, not leaving for Florida earlier, <laughs> or coming back 32 years ago, <laughs> whatever it is. So apparently before we go anywhere for our trip, we have to get COVID tested within 72 hours of our trip. So that being said, we got COVID tested. For the, I mean, I can't, I can't even, I can't, I'm definitely can't even complain. I've gotten tested a couple times and like, but the reason I say that is because like Jamie's dad's never been tested, which is like, wow, how is that even possible? You've never been COVID tested. I mean, contested a couple times, but Jamie's mom has been tested because she had to go and like get procedures done and stuff. So I was telling Jamie, I, it was, uh, the first time that I ever got tested was in April of last year when I, and I vlogged it. You can actually watch the vlog saying I got COVID tested. It was from April 14th, I think it was. And I filmed the whole thing <laughs> watching me get tested. And it, I'm pretty sure the guy like touched my intestines because he pushed the thing up so far. And this time it was uncomfortable. It was like not nearly as bad as I remember it being. I don't know. But apparently New York, I, I saw something. I think New York lifted all, all, all things, all COVID related things. I think it's officially no COVID in New York. I, I don't know. They'll probably change it in a day and a half anyway, so who, who even knows? <laughs> you know, we are so, so close to finishing all the, like, being ready to just go on a trip uh, because, I like, things are... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to my video capacity, like, the capacity that I want to be at. I'm, I'm pumped. I have a list right here of things I want to get done, like filming the Anthony Ramos video in the Heights video, video for shout-out Marvin, um, merch, it's mailing the merch, Getting bullet food, I have to do a photo for, uh, for my uh, my trainer, got my COVID test, and schedule some shorts, and we're good. Then we're, I think we're good. Currently waiting outside the gym, working on some stuff, getting ready to do a photo shoot for him. A really cool announcement, actually. It's been so long since this thing's moved. I hear you. Where are we going, man? We're going to the village, Northport Village. So we're going to start classes on Sundays in the village. It's going to be it. epic. Epic. Well, that way you get the gazebo. Exactly, get a little bit of everything. That's why I was going this way. Yeah, move, move it in this way. It'd be like right here. Yep. <laughs> Come on. You're making me nervous. There we go. Run, run rocket? The run rocket. Oh, you run, it, you run out, you pull it? Yep. Work it, man. Work it. How much bigger? This is my, I ate way too much face. Greenport, Long Island, everybody. Hey, Rudy. Holy. All right, so we had a really, really, really nice day today with the family, man. It was, it was really good. As you saw, kind of the whole day, went to the, you know, help my friend out with the big announcement that he had. And we drove out to a place called Greenport, which is on the top north end of the fork of Long Island. Spent some time out there with Jamie's family. We, we had a really nice lunch. I ate way too much. Uh, and then we came home and Jamie's grandma and aunt came. Grandma is from Pennsylvania. Aunt came from upstate New York and kind of hung out here for a bit. In between, I kind of got a little bit of work done here and there. And then now it is 10 o'clock at night. The entire family is asleep. 
I'm gonna give myself about an hour to film some more videos uh, because if I get go to bed at 11, alarm is set for 7 a.m. tomorrow. So that means I can still get eight hours of sleep because I'm tired, but I'm like right there and I'll have all the videos filmed. And even for Sunday of next week, which we're going away Sunday to Saturday, but I'm filming a wedding on Sunday, so I'm not gonna have any time to film anything. So I wanna even get maybe even one or two, three videos from Monday the following week so that I can come in on Monday back to the office and ready to go kind of, but not overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, I have nothing to post today. So that's the game plan, about an hour, still get eight hours of sleep because I've been not getting, I've been getting like seven, I guess about seven. So it's not even that bad. I still get seven hours of sleep, but I don't know, I'm just so tired. <laughs> Maybe it's emotional tiredness from the stress of balancing work and family, work and family, I, who even knows? So you know what, it is 10.42. I was just watching some video and it kind of gave me some like nostalgic, chill outdoor vibes. I'm like, you know what? Everybody's sleeping. They won't hear me because the AC's on. I think I'm gonna go outside in the back patio of my, my yard. We have this kind of gazebo with some nice uh, Edison bulbs hanging. I'm gonna go film two or three acoustic videos. I think that'll be fun. I'll set up a light, I'll give this chill vibe. Just go, I'll, I'll do kind of like a whispery kind of like, maybe like a chill kind of like hangout session, like because I don't want to wake up the neighbors, but it's also everybody has their AC on likely. So that'll be fun, a different kind of vibe. Growing up, growing old. Leaving behind what we used to know And I remember when you take my hand and then you tell me everything will be alright And I remember when you tuck me in And then you tell me you love me And I need those words again